<sighs> my hair looks cute. I wish I would have brought my my camera camera. Look at that. Ooh, look at that sun. Ooh, yes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Andres and this is a gratefully Andres. I am excited to be back with you guys. I am how can I say? I'm just I'm like super excited. Like I am so excited to let you guys know I am finally getting my surgery. Yay! I know a lot of you guys have been following me because of my weight loss journey. Thank you so much for the love, for the subscribing, for the comments, for the support. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Um, I'm like, what? two or less than 200 subscribers away from reaching my goal of a thousand so please 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 like 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 and share this video so i can reach my goal of a thousand subscribers i hope you guys love me so much like i love you and i'm trying to be as consistent as i am or as i can be i'm gonna try and post at least every week or every two weeks at least one video um the reason why i haven't been posting is because i've been super busy with work like you guys know from my last vlog i've started a new job as y'all can see my job is right there like i said i was busy with my kids as well and what else i haven't been losing as much weight like right now my current weight is 142 pounds 142.8 pounds so if y'all don't know i was 186 pounds i think i'm gonna combine it depends how how long this video is but i think i'm gonna i'm gonna do a my announcement video which is right now and then at towards the end i'm just gonna do like a whole bunch of pictures of my before with my afters since i think i'm gonna stop here at 142 or 140 pounds i'm gonna try and reach 140 pounds even though my doctor said that she wanted me to reach 130 to 135 pounds but when i go into my appointment i'm gonna let her know that unfortunately right now i'm not gonna be able to reach that goal because i'm gonna be having surgery so you're probably asking yourself what kind of surgery i did post like maybe a couple videos before that i wanted to get a bbl slash tummy tuck which I am finally going to get. I put down my deposit. I am working with a surgery coordinator. Co coordinator. Coordinator. Yeah, the, it's set. I have a date, which is June 2nd. And I am going to have my surgery. I am so excited. Y'all are probably asking yourself, why can't you just stick to diet and exercise? You've been doing so good. You lost a lot of weight. To be honest, I've lost 44 pounds in five months, which is awesome with little exercise, like no exercise at all. If I would have been exercising, I think I would have lost that weight within two months. But because I was still eating what I wanted, not 100% what I wanted, but like I still calorie counted uh, the foods that I was consuming and i was doing omad which is one meal a day on days that i was like very being very strict with myself what and what else so omad i was doing intermittent fasting i was drinking a lot of water and still am drinking a lot of water uh packs that you put in your water um that i got on amazon that supposedly they're like greens and superfoods and they're like in a powder so you put it in your water and you drink it oh it tastes horrible it's supposed to be it's so good for you so i'm gonna start doing that again it took five months for me from 186 to 142.8 is a big difference and i am very proud of myself it takes a lot of motivation and dedication and a lot of sacrificing you know trying not to overeat just maintaining myself making sure that i'm always moving around especially with this new job i'm constantly on my feet for like eight and a half hours sometimes nine hours you know moving around running after little kids doing activities with them playing games uh cleaning doing whatever so i'm constantly moving around in this new job not like before when i was driving i was just basically sitting down and then when i got home i was sitting down again and i wasn't going to the gym so yeah my surgery if y'all want to follow my journey i'm gonna do a pack with me video things that i'm gonna be taking with me a breakdown of prices and all that stuff and how much money you are going to be having to take with you if you do want to travel to the Dominican Republic. I'm going to go visit Dr. Durang or Doctora Durang. And she is known as the Duran doll queen or the queen in the Dominican Republic because she does beautiful work. I'm going to post her Instagram right here or down below so y'all can follow her and see what kind of work she's doing. She's super awesome. I heard she's sweet. 
Um, I follow another fellow YouTuber on here that she got her surgery done with Dr. Durang. And I just, I think she did a great job. So what I feel like the weight loss, I was very motivated. One, because I wanted to look good. And two, because I knew that I was going to eventually have surgery. And I did not want to have surgery at 186 pounds. I really wanted to lose weight as much as possible and kind of get near to or near my goal weight. Um, that way, when I do go into surgery, I look my best. Because you really do not want to look like this. Or if that's what you want to look like, you know, that's your preference. Go ahead. But there's a lot of women out here that are like 200 pounds and they're over, you know, they're spending $8,000, the most $8,000 traveling out the country to go get some tummy tuck or lipo, whatever, thinking they're going to end up looking like they're 130 pounds. It's not going to happen. You have to be realistic with yourself and you have to understand that these doctors can't perform miracles when it comes to being overweight and having surgery like you have to make sure that your bmi is at a certain weight or your body is at a certain weight and you have to make sure that you are healthy and that you are following some sort of a healthy diet or regimen as then when you come back after you get the surgery you're just basically gonna gain, gain the weight all over again and then you're gonna have to go back and get more surgery that's another eight thousand dollars that you're gonna probably spend again for no reason you know what i mean like you have to be at the right mindset first before you get the surgery because that's number one let me not um go too much into detail because there's a lot of people that will probably get you know offended but it's the truth you know what i mean like you have to first be there mentally before you do something major like that and keep spending your money on trying to get to a point if you want if you have the money if you have the funds and you have the pain tolerance to do multiple surgeries then go ahead go for it mm -mm, that's not for me so this is why i wanted to lose the weight first and then get the surgery so i haven't been like using my my leg muscles or my butt muscles and i'm just looking f a little flat down there i'm gonna show you guys a little picture that i recently took of so i'm not happy with that so I want to, you know, use whatever fat that I have left at 140 pounds. And then hopefully she can make my behind a little bit rounder because I do want a little round bubble butt. <laughs> As, like, I don't know. I think they're cute. So I want a round bubble butt. You know, like if any of you know Dream Doll, follow her on Instagram or find her on Instagram. But that's kind of like how I want my body to be. It's like that nice hour, hour, hourglass. Yeah, hourglass shape. That's my type of body. So with a nice bubble butt in, in the back. It's 10 minutes of me blabbing. I just want to let you guys know that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to go on. And hopefully you guys follow my journey. Um, I'm super excited. I'm super excited, you guys. I can't wait to go to DR. My coworker is right next to me, but she's on her phone. She just arrived and she's like, probably like, what the hell is this girl doing talking to herself? No, I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to my subscribers. But yeah, you guys, follow me if you guys want to, you know, see how i look and obviously after surgery after i get the okay from the doctor i'm gonna tone my arms i'm gonna see how far or how much fat she has taken out of my stomach and then i'm just gonna do workouts when it comes to toning my stomach my arms and my legs hopefully i don't lose too much of my ass if y'all are still interested follow me follow me follow me because i'm still gonna be doing healthy videos or i'm gonna try to do healthy videos how to maintain your body or your goal weight or do videos on maybe looking into skincare looking for hair growth and hair products for girls that have curly hair like myself also just my everyday life like i want to vlog more i want to be able to look back and look at these videos and be like wow you know i've come a long way and i did things that you know probably scared me and just seeing my family i'm gonna hopefully have my family more in the videos and do like i don't know just hopefully be, make this into a hobby or make this into a career but yeah let me stop flabbing and thank you guys so much for liking my videos thank you guys for supporting me please like comment and subscribe and i'm just gonna leave you guys with my before and afters so hopefully this video doesn't become too long but i'll see you guys in the next one bye